EA, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> EA, you think you're so slick. I know I said it before from the last video I made last time, but again, I have to say it again. EA, you think you're really slick, but you're dead wrong. So does Take-Two Entertainment that also owns 2K and Rockstar Games. The very same company that is begging loot boxes to come back. And also Activision who uses microtransactions in their yearly Call of Duty games. To you AAA publishers that you think that you could drain our wallets away that easily and then trying to justify that it's okay, well you're dead wrong. Because recently, 15 countries have joined forces to battle EA, Activision, 2K Games, and many other AAA development companies that are trying to use these slimeball tactics to rob the gullible gamers and the kids that don't know any better to use mommy's and daddy's credit cards to using microtransactions and loot boxes, not even realizing that they have been fallen victim to this. EA, Activision, 2K Games, and others who use predatory loot boxes in games that are in a tough line, 15 countries, and the Washington State has joined forces to battle the cancer that are loot boxes. EA is already under criminal investigation in Belgium for refusing to comply, not removing loot boxes from FIFA. An international pool of gambling regulators published a letter raising concerns about skin betting and loot boxes, the blurring line between gambling and other forms of digital entertainment such as video games. Regulars from Lavita, the Czech Republic, the Isle of Man, France, Spain, Malta, Jersey, Gibraltar, Ireland, Portugal, Norway, and the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom, Poland, Austria, and the Washington State have partnered against loot boxes. And good for them! Good for them to standing up against this monstrosity that is loot boxes and microtransactions. Our authorities are committed to the objectives of their public policies with regard to consumer protection, prevention of problem with gambling, and ensuring the safety of underage persons. While each regulator has a distinct duties and powers within our national gambling frameworks, we are shared a number of common principles, including the need for gambling to be regulated and ensure high standards of integrity, fairness, and the consumer protection, in particular of relation to children. And they should. Because encourage kids to gamble in video games is absolutely egregious. These companies know how to manipulate players into buying loot boxes. A random chance at something players desire. After what happened with Star Wars Battlefront 2, government intervention became necessary. However, how far will EA Activision and 2K Games will fight this remains to be seen. The good news is that 2K and Activision have already surrendered in many regions. But EA plans to fight in the Discord. It is already doing so in Belgium. It's fucking dickheads. This is a developing story that will have more updates once you further developments come through. And you know what I say as far as the countries that are going to reinforce the law against these AAA publishers? I say good for them. They should because encouraging kids to gamble and people to have gambling problems, that there is by far absolutely egregious and just absolutely fucked up. Let that sink in, people. Large AAA developers with millions and millions, if not billions of dollars, encouraging other kids to gamble. Something that is illegal, but only in 48 states, technically. But to underage children? Really? Really? I mean, that is absolutely messed up. And people who have gambling problems, like very severe gambling problems, that you think you get away with it by trying to put it in video games, and oh, and you, so you think it's cute, huh? But it's wrong! It's severely wrong because you're trying to play the psychological warfare against gamers by convincing them to gamble. Now I see Activision here, they back down, they stop with the loot box bullshit on Overwatch here, and Overwatch is created by Blizzard and it's being published by Activision here, but you get the idea here. I'm glad to do that, but I'm not holding my breath, they're gonna do the same thing again with Call of Duty. Oh, and how could I forget Take-Two Interactive that also owned 2K Games and Rockstar Games that made the most highly profitable video game known to man today that is Grand Theft Auto V and the yearly NBA 2K series that has product placement, microtransactions up the ass. Same thing with WWE 2K, which has been broken every single year by this point here. And yet, Take-Two Interactive has the gall to beg us 
by throwing in this little pity party saying that, look, we need to make more money to have in production. Oh, bullshit. You got more than enough money here because of your profitable products, and yet you have the nerve to beg us to give you more? Fuck out of here. I still love Rockstar Games, though. I, mean, I freaking love Rockstar. And then now we have the biggest perpetrator in all of the gaming world, the Golden Turd of the Year Award receiver, Electronic Arts, that failed to comply to the law just because they wanted to justify of having loot boxes to claiming that they're the way of the future of gaming, when in reality they're just nothing more but a bunch of rip-offs. Rip-off artists that wanted to extort our wallets, trying to drain our bank accounts dry to sustain their insatiable lust for money. Making yearly half-assed games, treating their employees like shit and other developers like shit, treating their fans like they're complete morons that don't know any better, which we do know better here, and we tell them to fuck off every single time, and just don't even know when to fucking stop when it comes to their microtransactions and their greedy tactics. That's right, EA, you are now in the line of fire, and you deservingly so. Because you want to psychologically manipulate the gamers, especially young children, to doing something that is absolutely illegal. Considering that you have to make them spend ridiculous amounts of money in order to get some stuff that you should be unlocking in the game in the first place. To EA, in other words, you're a bunch of pathetic. Pathetic slime balls. A bunch of pathetic slime balls. I'm gonna end this by saying give this a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It'll help my channel out. This is HDX signing out. Y'all have a good one. Like, seriously, give this video a thumbs up, comment, and definitely subscribe. It'll really help my channel considering that the new algorithm that's going on right now.